This picture-perfect happy couple with a brand new baby is shattered by three bullets on a cold winter day. Omar Murray gunned down in broad daylight just as he gets back to his Brooklyn home from the corner store. I thought it might have been a home invasion robbery. But as detectives dig deeper, they discover cracks in the marriage that make them suspicious. Turns out the couple was deep in debt. My understanding, she was buying expensive bags, going on trips. And with all that money, her house was still in the process of foreclosure proceedings. Is she the type of person that wants to be in the spotlight? She lived a pretty big lifestyle. Yeah. And that big lifestyle was carrying a freight load of IOUs, car payments, a $575,000 mortgage, and shopping sprees. The lavish spending was costing them their marriage. How bad did it get? <laughs> my mother would call me twice, once saying that um, my brother just left the house. There was freezing outside, barefooted with no jacket. Cops claim Alicia even stole $100,000 from her own mother. Then detectives uncover another shocking secret. Alicia is having a torrid fling with this man, a Rite Aid drugstore worker named Damien Lavelle. Alicia and Damien informed me that they would have sexual encounters in the home on the second floor while Omar was upstairs taking care of the daughter. So wait a minute, Omar is upstairs taking care of the daughter. Yes. And Alicia and Damien are having sexual relations downstairs. Yes. But it's early in the investigation, and cops tread carefully. Before jumping to conclusions, they look at the evidence, starting with three security cameras inside the Murray apartment, Omar and Alicia's home. We were hoping we were going to get some video footage. And what did you get? Nothing. Nothing at all? No, the cameras were um, disconnected. Did that make you suspicious? Yes. But there's more. This never before released street surveillance video, and the man captured right here is Alicia's secret lover, Damien Lovell. Cops say he was on his way to pick up the murder weapon. Did Omar have any idea that this was going on? No. Alicia's defense attorney, Winton Sharp, says she may be guilty of bad behavior, but Alicia is not the mastermind behind a plot to have her husband whacked. She makes a fatal mistake. She decides to have sex with this guy. And, yes, she did decide to have it in her house. That, however, does not equal murder. Unfortunately for my client, as soon as anyone hears that, it creates an emotional, oh my God, I can't believe she did that. Everyone takes a position. She is a horrible person. You know, how could she do that? But detectives tell me this isn't the only time Alicia tried to kill her husband. How did this relationship come off the rails? Alicia thought Omar was cheating on him. She uh, attempted to poison him. Poison him? Yes. And how did she attempt to do this? She was poisoning his food. The prosecution charged your client tried to poison her yes, husband. Absolutely. No, well, they didn't charge it. They just threw it out there as no, they did the things. There was an accident, and he went to the hospital. The specialist who they brought in said there was no evidence of any poison. So all they did was they put in the jury's mind that, oh, on a first occasion, he tried to poison her. Police say Alicia gave her lover in crime $3,500 and Omar's own gun to hire trigger man Kirk Porteous, a Crips gang member. In this never-before-released surveillance video, a car drives up at 1243, and cops claim that it's Porteous getting out on the passenger side. He walks into the entrance of Omar's building. Omar pulls up at 1256 and walks in. Shortly after that, you can see Porteous hurry out in the other direction. Alicia's attorney doesn't dispute the video, but he insists Alicia is not the mastermind behind the murder. The person who murdered Omar in his home never met my client, never met him. The only person who had contact and planned this over weeks is Damien Lavelle. But what does Damien get out of it? He gets the lifestyle. He used my client as a scapegoat. So why would Alicia want her new husband and father of her baby dead? Cops say there may be 900,000 reasons. Three insurance policies, totaling $900,000. Big money. Money. And Omar's brother says Alicia was going to get it all. Fortunately, he signed his own death warrant. And I said, you 
You killed my son. Right there at her son's gravesite, Omar's mom accuses Alicia of pretending to hide behind a mask of mourning. I said to her at the funeral, you killed my son because of greed. Was Alicia the weeping widow or the dry-eyed mastermind behind a murder-for-hire plot to kill her husband? I said any idiot would know that. This is an inside job. Despite her defense, Alicia is now on the top of the list of suspects. Insurance companies refuse to shell out a dime. Cops haul in Damien Lovell for questioning. He rats out his lover in return for a prison sentence of 15 years to life. How was she when you interviewed her after the murder? Stone cold. Stone cold. Did that surprise you? Yes. Your husband gets killed, you'd think he'd be emotional. That's what I thought. But cops say it wasn't the attitude that did her in. It was the evidence and the other man who claimed he loved her. What was the key to solving this case? It was the cooperation from Mr. Lavelle, and at the time of the murder, the cell phone records that showed Alicia and Damien in constant contact with each other. Trigger man Kirk Porteous is sentenced to life in prison. And the wife cops call the murderous mastermind is stopped in her high heel tracks and charged with first degree murder. What do you think would happen between him and Alicia? I think they might have lived happily ever after. It took the jury just three hours to convict the femme fatale, and the judge showed no mercy. Instead of pearls and champagne, it'll be handcuffs and stale sandwiches as she rots behind bars for the rest of her life. And I'm almost sorry that they didn't have the death penalty. Do you ever scratch your head sometimes as a detective and wonder, why don't people just get a divorce if they hate each other? Why do you have to kill someone? I think Alicia only saw dollar signs. I don't think she can love. I don't I think she can only hate. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at crimewatchdaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.